Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Guess who? I'm back again. Blimey. Right. This time I want to show you this little beauty. Uh, Chinese jobby, of course, but um, yeah, it's a good little radio, really. Nice screen on it, touch screen, nice colours, and um, it works pretty well. I'll just uh, take it off mute and uh, hopefully they're still there. Yeah, there you go. It's uh, yeah, works pretty good. Um, yeah, I tried it on all bands, and uh, yeah, it's um, works good. I mean, uh, I can't remember what I pay it. Just over seventy pounds, I think, um, off Ali Express. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I prefer old radio, as you know, uh, old receivers and stuff like the Sony there. But but um, you know, it's nice to have some. Uh, a bit more modern as well and um yeah so uh and it's got it's got memories in this as well that you can store quite a few memories um i think it's 100 i think it'll store um and this is virtually the same firmware or software or whatever is on the little ats 120 which i've got as well i use that in the in the lounge because that's got bluetooth on that um, so I use it with a little Bluetooth earpiece, which is quite handy. So it's on the lead dragging around, you know. And um, but yeah, basically the same radio though, really, just in a different, obviously a different case, smaller case. But um, but yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, this is the ATS 25X1. Um, I was going to get the X2, but that's got Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got a Wi-Fi antenna and a little Wi-Fi socket on the back. Um, but the Wi-Fi doesn't seem to do anything, as far as I can tell from what I, I've watched videos and that on it. And all it does, it seems to delay it uh, booting up. <laughs> it sort of thinks about the Wi-Fi for about 40 seconds and then, uh, and then boots up onto the radio screen. Every time you turn it on, that is, so... Uh, I thought, well, no, I can't, I can't be doing with that. <laughs> uh, even if, you know, it's different if the Wi-Fi really did something decent or important, but it don't. So I went for the 25X1, which hasn't got that on it. And this just comes on. I'll, I'll turn it off and show you. That's right. So it's about five seconds, I think. One and two and three and four. Um, five, yeah, five, six seconds or whatever. But it's there. It is uh, going. So um, you know. Uh, so I thought, well, that that uh, <laughs> that hacked me off it every time I turn it on. And you've got to wait sort of nearly a minute for it to come on. You know, it's crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> and you can't do away with that Wi-Fi bit. You know, it sort of goes on to that Wi-Fi searching bit first or something. This is what I was just, you know, watched on YouTube videos. But anyway, there you go. So, um, yeah, let's just turn it back up again.
Yeah, so there you go. It uh, works really well. Um, I, I could try. I don't know if 20 meters is open at the minute. I'll have to have a look. Um, if you go on hand band, then obviously choose 20 meters down there. And it all automatically puts on upper side band. I just turn it up. What's wrong? Yeah, there you go. So that's on 20. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, really. And it's nice and easy. I mean, you've got to hit the you know, tuning knob to get the volume up, to adjust the volume, but then just click it again and, uh, and you're there. <clears throat> or you can touch the volume uh, position on the um, on the screen there, which is up there. Just touch that and turn the volume up and down. And you've got a mute button attenuator which I don't think does a lot on this uh, you can input the frequency direct like so yeah um, and uh, change the step you can do the step by just touching on the on the uh, number but there is a pen to go with it a little stylus which is a lot easier but um yeah, let's just just try uh, 17 meters. Well, I think um, you have to go on the uh, yeah. There you go. Just turn it up a bit. No, that's not open at the minute. So um. Anyway, there you go, and it's got, it's got FM on it, and um, you know, broadcast band, and RDS, I think, so I don't think RDS works on this model or not, I'm not, I haven't really checked it, to be honest, not that interested in FM, but anyway, it's on there if you want it, um, so yeah, I'm not, on the back it's just got antenna socket, obviously, uh, USB charging port, USB C, power on and off, and a headphone socket, three and a half mil. And I think that does like a filter for. Uh, hang on, <laughs> get it out. I think that's a filter switch for FM or shortwave, and if I just leave it on shortwave, obviously, because I only use it really on that. Um, yeah, so there you go. So, uh, that's the ATS 25X or 1. The latest acquisition. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to disappear now. But I hope you enjoyed that. And, um, well, uh, there's a lot, a lot of different versions of this now. There's one with a decoder in it for uh, FT8 and RIT and all that. But, nah, not interested in that. So, um, yeah, okay. Right. I'll so this is Kev G7 ILP saying bye for now.